Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. My name is Teresa Ellen Arianis, T-E-A, and this is Tea Time Adventures on YouTube. And OMG, it is the end of November already, and it's time for my empties and trash talk. <laughs> this month seemed to go by fast. Now, November is jam-packed with so many celebratory dates for me. We've got... Um, my deceased aunt's birthday, um, my birthday, and then my grandniece's birthday, all in November. We have Thanksgiving. We have several other of YouTube people who are born in November as well. Uh, I know Kiki and I are maybe only a week and a half or so off. Kiki's Cracker Jack Bugs. I'll have her link down below. She is awesome. Um, so yeah, this has been uh, jam-packed. This is the first holiday I've ever been able to spend with somebody in over 12 years, somebody that's special to me who's in the front room doing something else right now. <laughs> and so this month has just sped by. Can you believe it? We're already going to take a step into December, the last month of the year, and then we'll hurdle on towards New Year's. So yay, Christmas and New Year's. That's looking forward to that too. So anyway, my bag is empty because I've got everything laid out over here. I've got Dara over there in the corner somewhere <laughs> on quote unquote daddy's side of the bed. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and go through this. I'm going to show you the things that I'm actually decluttering first. Um, and mostly because A, I didn't like them and B, they're expired. So the first thing that I have is an entire tube a complete tube, very much unused, of Shea Moisture Skin Rescue Cream Cleanser. Does not contain CBD oil or THC, but it does have cannabis, sativa, hemp seed oil, and witch hazel, and vitamin E. And I just didn't really enjoy this, and I think this is a minimum, a minimum of two years past its expiration date. I had it in a drawer or a tub somewhere and just completely forgot about it. Didn't really really care for it anyway, so I am decluttering that almost, I mean, very full tube. But two years past its expiration date, I'm not going to chance that. The other thing, and you're going to laugh, is Banana Boat Simply Protect Sensitive Faces SPF 50 with 25% fewer ingredients without oxybenzone or parabens, hyperallergenic. Now this is Banana Boat. They are an SPF um, sunblock and Again, we've got well over two years past the expiration date, and I am a 99.999% indoor girl. The only time I see sun is if I'm sitting on my patio very, very early in the morning waiting for the van ride, or when I get off of work and I'm sitting on the picnic tables waiting for the van to pick me up. So there is less than a half an hour of indirect sunlight on me on a daily basis. So I take vitamin D's. <laughs> so, um... I'm really not going to use this anyway. Um, even if somebody says, oh, it's still good. No, it's two years past the expiration date. Uh, yeah, two years. Two years, November of 2021. It expired, so it's two years past the expiration date. And it's decluttered and going in the trash. So the next couple of items are actually Ipsy items. And while I like Sunday Riley quite a bit, this was a CEO Glow Vitamin C and Turmeric Face Oil. And I thought, oh, be cool. No, for my type of skin, that oil just sits on my face all night long. It doesn't absorb. It starts making me break out. So I am decluttering this. I used a tiny little bit, maybe not even a quarter of this tiny little dropper. Um, I didn't enjoy it. Um, so it's getting decluttered. I do have a sensitivity sensitivity to vitamin C because the next item is Real Vita C Serum. Helps brighten, revitalize, and hydrate skin by Neogen Dermatology. And again, I am not enjoying this, and I've used probably that much of it. Um, vitamin C just tends to make me flush out and get little uh, pigmentation blotches, so I have to be careful with vitamin C. It's okay if it's in a sheet mask, but something is concentrated to this. Mm -mm, this is getting decluttered. The next item, again, was another Ipsy item, Fenty Skin Hydrovisor Invisible Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. And this expired um, back in October. I 
I think I used it once or twice to see how it did as a moisturizer and did not care for it because it's got the SPF in it and I don't need that. So this is getting decluttered as well. Now onto things that I really used up. So those of us born in the 60s and 70s are going to get a kick out of this. Prell. Prell shampoo. I had no idea that they still made this. Um, this was a staple in the household that I grew up in. Prell shampoo. It is that bright lime green, neon green, whatever you want to call it. It still has that crisp sort of smell to it. And I found it in the grocery store and said, OMG, I have to get it. It made my hair, it, it foams just a little bit. It foams quite a bit. Um, and it did a good job, but I really only bought it for nostalgia purposes. And now that I am done with this bottle, I'm going to go on to different shampoos and we get to toss it in the trash. Now, the next item is an air freshener and it is Febreze Air pet odor eliminator up to two times the odor elimination powder fresh scent. Now it's not really for Dara, but I do live with a smoker now. <laughs> um, and in bad weather, he's not going to smoke a cigarette, but he's going to smoke in the bathroom. And that's all I'm saying. And this is going to be used <laughs> to get rid of the green smell. <laughs> this is not something I do, but I'm going to be spraying the heck out of that bathroom. So into the trash it goes. The next item was a bottle of CBD gummies um, that was CBD plus um, melatonin. And this I won off of Hemp Bombs on Instagram. This was the first time that I had won on Instagram. Um, and I had won a small box worth of stuff. So I think there was a CBD with melatonin and another CBD just as it was. And I think there's a tincture in orange and vanilla somewhere that I can't put my hands on. Maybe it's shoved in somebody's friend mail that hasn't been shipped yet but um they were okay but I honestly think CBD gives me a headache I honestly do so this is going in the trash but I can uh, have hemp bombs linked down below on their Instagram site if anybody's interested so the next two items are pretty normal three items are pretty normal again um, once again from Ipsy we have tarts jelly glaze and this was a teeny tiny so tiny I have no idea when I started this, but it's well over a year and a half ago just to go through this very site. It's very thick and I tend to put it on at night, but I've finally gone through it. Yeah, I just have a question mark in back. <laughs> this is when did I start this? I have no clue. Um, it was cute. It was fun, but I have other um, very thick um, glosses that I'm trying to go through. One from Hanalei and I think there's another one... Um, also in my night uh, night bag that I keep at my uh, nightstand and apply stuff at night. So I think it was cute. It was a pretty color. It doesn't have really a flavor or a scent, but um, it was a cute it was a cute little thing. Now the next thing I highly recommend, but the price point is too high for me, and that is um, It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream, and these little. Um, Sample sizes um, are from Ipsy, and they're just wonderful. I pick them up every time I see them, just because the full size itself, and it has a very light orangey vanilla scent that reminds you of a creamsicle. Um, it doesn't really tout itself as that, but I really do like it, and so I pick it up every time I see it. Same thing with Belief, 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 and this is their moisturizing eye balm. I love this stuff. When I first found it, I went on, was it Mercari? or eBay and I found like five of them. <laughs> so I think this was finally the last one and I've used it all up. I love this stuff, I really do. Um, so again, if I ever see it with Ipsy, I'll pick up maybe one at a time instead of five at a time. So this was great. Oh, and I started this in um, August of 2022 and I'm other things that I'm using, um, but I finally used it up. And let's see regular makeup. We have the Maybelline 24 Hour Stay. This is my daily lip stain brand and I do use a lip stain. What color was this? This color is... Wow, I need glasses. I don't know. I cannot see what it is. It's color number 120. But whatever it is, I think it's a Heather. I actually want to say it's a Heather. Um, and I've used up all of the gloss. There's always just like some of this left over, but 
I'm not gonna worry about the glossy gloss end of it just because I've got so many more, but I've used up all of this color. I've repurchased it and it's in my bag. And so we're getting rid of that. And of course, my usual nose drops, Amazon nose drops. Um, went through two of those. Um, again, that is phenephrine hydrochloride, 1%. This is the chemical that works on me for my nose rather than the stuff that like afrin's made out of. So there's two of those going in the trash. Yeah, the last physical product might have come out of sampler, maybe? Um, and it was Acidil Melt Away Tablets, homeopathic medicine for heartburn, acid indigestion, and upset stomach. It does squat. I took this and left it at work, so it took me a while to um, go through it. It's still good for another year, but I've used all the little tablets. The homeopathic stuff just doesn't do it as far as you've got real heartburn. I'm going to grab Gaviscon. Where are you? Gaviscon. You, you chew it. It foams, it creates a barrier as it goes down. I already gave you treats. You had a boatload of treats, my girl. Hi. Yeah, say hi to the people. Yeah, tell them hi. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you've already had your treats. You have, you had a boatload of treats when I got home. Yes, you did, so. Just make nice to the people. Yeah, okay. All right. You get to go. Come on. Come on the other side. Anyway. Acidel. Don't waste your time on this homeopathic stuff. Um, these melt-away tablets, they didn't do the trick. Okay, are you going to help me? What are you doing? Huh? All right, so on to the next thing, which is what I call the flat goods. You've already... No, I'm over there. You've already had treats. Sorry. <laughs> you already have had treats. Go lay down. You had a boatload of treats. A big pinch out of the drawer. You're not going to leave me alone, are you? Oh, you love me. Well, if you love me. <laughs> yeah. All right. You're not going to leave me alone, are you? No, you don't eat in the bag either. Okay? Okay, here. You go eat over there. Leave mommy alone. She self-regulates. She never gets fat. I'm like, mommy. <laughs> anyway, flat goods. Here we've got the flat goods. So these are all the little skincare items that I've been... And one just dropped on the floor. Anyway, it was a Centella Timu skincare individual packet. I also have gone through uh, two of the... Laiku, L-A-I-K-O-U, Sakura Sleeping Face Masks in the Cherry Blossom. I love these individual packs. They're so easy to take to work, throw in my purse, have it my nightstand, sit on the couch, and pull one out of a little pocket over there. Same thing with this, Laiku's Seaweed Sleeping Mask, Hydrating, Soothing, Brightening. I love this stuff, really. If you see them on Timu, get them. They come in packs of 15 or 20, and I think they're worth it. They're just so nice about same thing. Leku. Snail mask. Love it. Love it. Just great stuff. I did try, mm, I don't know if this was Style Vana or if this was Timu. I think this was Timu in a recent haul. Um, R Top R Mango Long Effect Moisturizing and Brightening Emulsion for Whitening Skin and Nourishing Deeply. Did an okay job. It's a tiny little foil packet. And I think I've got nine others to go through. So this wasn't too bad. R Top R. Cute little whatever he is in the corner there. So that goes in the trash. Still sticking with Timo. We've got the Sador Sweet Strawberry Lip Masks. I don't think I'm built for lip masks. A, I talk too much. B, they just don't taste good because you know you're going to get the serum in your mouth. But I didn't really see a, a visible difference. Or Bless you, visible difference. <laughs> She's sneezing in the hallway. You're not getting out because I'm talking. <laughs> so there's that. Now we're moving on to some eye masks. We have your typical Grace and Stella eye masks. So I use a set of those. Uh, 
you can't really see this, but you see their little angel wings. That's a cranberry one that I got from Timu. It did a good job, just as much as any other eye mask, um, a hydrogel eye mask. They also came, uh, got from Timu a green seaweed firming eye mask from Fair King, anti-aging, firming skin, feeding rim wrinkles. I believe they were black or really, really dark green. And again, I got it from Timu. Did a good job. Um... One pair. Yeah, I only picked up one pair because I wanted to try it. That goes in the trash. These, I want to say, were Stylevana Feeble <laughs> Makeup Cleansing Removing Film. They were tiny little makeup wipes. So I, I could still take up bo both eye makeup with it. It's not as moisturizing or as... No, you have to wait. <laughs> Damn as like your typical one from let's say simple or or, or any other uh, major brand um, but they were cute little things to try and they actually did smell a little bit like grape yeah the next three things are actually thing um, samples that I got out of my um, social sampling which is made for California residents only that have 100 or more um, followers on Facebook and or Instagram. Now I always make a video because I, I'm a YouTuber but I also post to Instagram and over to, to uh, Facebook as well. And it was Gain Odor and Defense. This was one of those pods. I'd never tried one of those pods before. It just it did just fine. We did our laundry um, two loads, and so this was used in one load. It did a good job. Not an overpowering smell, so I would still recommend it. Um, and then a different brand of Persil um, OxyClean Power Deep Cleaning. Um, I think this was liquid that kind of had to squish out and put into the wash. So I coupled it um, with Downy Rinse and Refresh uh, Fabric Softener. Um, so I got to use up in those last weekend, and I think they did an okay job. I don't know if I picked them up. I'm really a tried and true, um, either Tide or what is Sun something or other, Sun something or other, S-U-N something. Anyway, it's in the kitchen. I don't know. <laughs> but this did an okay job. Now, let's see. I have a couple of food samples that I don't think I kept them all. But I did get for Halloween a popcorn ball. And it wasn't anything that I displayed here, but it was so unusual that I thought I'd show it off. So it was a Kathy K World's Best Popcorn Ball, and I had a delightful time eating it. So I recommend it. I don't know where my boss got it. She must have got it somewhere. Um, hardly any fat, hardly any sodium, but of course you've got 25 grams of carbohydrates from the popcorn and the sugar, but I thought that was really cute. Also, from the social sampling, um, I picked up the Chip Oys Spicy Ranch Ranch Flavored Rolled Tortilla Chip, almost like a little taquito. These were good. I shared them with my guy, um, so they were nice. I don't know if I'd pick them up. Um, you could get Ranch Doritos, you know, just as easily. It doesn't matter to me that they're rolled like taquitos. Um, but it was nice to try, so cool. All right, now into the Masks Masks. Oh, wait a minute. I lied. Um, <laughs> makeup Removers Unicorn Glow Call It A Day Makeup Remover Wipes. Um, I don't know who they're by. Just says Clean Story. Yeah, they did a good job. Not as moist as some, not as dry as others, but it did its job, especially since I'm not a full face girl. I just do my eyes. I just do my lips, so it took care of it wonderfully, but it was something fun to try. I mean, come on, Unicorn Glow. Right. Truly, 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 these are the face masks that I use for the month. I have um, AM Mask by Meg. These are lovely masks. They truly are. And honestly, I've tried doing housework in them, and they stay. They stay on your face while you're doing housework. That's what I really liked about them, is they stayed put. They didn't slide up your face or drip everywhere, so that was pretty cool to try. I think I've used one once before, and I think I've got another pack of four. So there is that. We also had, who are, you, who are you from? This might have been Stylevana, but it might have been AOA. Kiki didn't give it to me, but Kiki might have gotten me another one. Um, and it's Acai Berry, Acai -e, mm, um, facial mask. Um, and it had like nice little fruity scent to it. It's interesting that the package is sort of clear rather than opaque like we usually see it, but um, these are nice little masks. I'd pick up another one or two here or there. 
but then again I also have like 400 more that I have to go through. Um, I did do a sock and glove set from Epeel. These are one of my favorites. This is hemp and rosemary extract in both of these. And I just love there with my little, you know, sockies on and my hands on. Then I'll usually have a face mask on sitting there watching MASH on the couch after dinner. So this is nice. This is good. Um, I didn't pick up any more on Black Friday, but I still have some left. So this is always a repeat buy for me. Okay, next one is, came out of a, a pack that um, I have bought for other people before. Um, and it's M-A-L-I-E is the manufacturer's name. And um, this one is um, Coenzyme Q10. I can't say anything remarkable about it, but there was nothing wrong with it. So I have used that up. Uh, used also a uh, Celevi uh, Collagen Refresher Mask, um, and I really like that one. And it's also kind of pretty packaging. It's very like DNA-like, you know what I mean, with the, the little molecules all hooked up together like that. So I just thought that was kind of clever, very science-like. We're down to the last couple. Now, I tried the Freeman's Rose Gold Sheet Mask. Now, this is basically from the eyes up, little masquerade mask. And I, it comes in rose gold, silver, and regular gold in packs that I get off of Amazon. And I'm pretty sure Mary Catherine Loves Cats also bought the same pack off of Amazon. So who knows, maybe she and I and maybe a couple of others will hook up and do a collab. That would be nice. So I like this. It's a cute little, cute little mask. Again, it's just a masquerade mask from like the nose to the forehead. Now, keeping in the season that we are hurtling into, which is winter, I have a The Creme Shop Clarifying Peppermint Cocoa Mask. I used this one just last night, and oh yes, it does smell of peppermint hot chocolate, and I really like this one. Um, I usually find, I think the first time I found it was when Mary Catherine was telling us about... Um, Oh, what is it? Boxy Charm Friends and Family, and I picked up a couple then. And now, of course, it's part of Ipsy, and so I picked up a couple from Ipsy. I have, I think, one more in my stash, and it's 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 a lovely scent. Also, within the season, keeping this one for last because it's just so cute. Anti-aging facial mask, creamy aroma of holiday eggnog. So you do have that touch of spice and sweetness when you're wearing this. And I just thought it was so cute. And it is by Spa Life. So I do know that you can get them off of Amazon. I believe that's where I got them from last Christmas, something like that. But they're still good for a long time. So that is it. That is my empties and talking trash for November of 2023. I thank you all so much for sticking with me through this long video. I truly do appreciate it. I hope you all are having a safe holiday season, a safe winter or fall, depending on where you think we are in this. Um, it was maybe 60 something degrees today. It was supposed to rain and I don't think it did. Or if it did, it was just enough to make the cars filthy. There you go. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, please give me a thumbs up for positivity. Share me out if you think there's anybody else that might be interested in what I have to say for the empties and trash talk for the month of November. Take good care of yourselves. Take good care of each other. And I'll see you around the net. <laughs> Bye.